the level of our morality is uh, going down. If because you are a young woman, you decide to sell your body to make money, it's not sustainable. If because you are computer literate, you decide to do Yahoo Yahoo, it's not sustainable. It's very unfortunate that a lot of people do not even know that God has a plan for them. No matter the work you are going to do, your marriage is very, very important. Because marriage can make or marry you. So you must be very careful choosing who to work with and who not to work with. That is why it is not something that you say, I can do on my own. You cannot do it on your own. It's only God that can do it for you. God plays a very, very big role in our life, in setting our lives. The Holy Spirit is the master strategist. The Holy Spirit can never go wrong. But how would you qualify to receive the Holy Spirit for the Holy Spirit to reside in you? You qualify by making yourself a clean vessel. The Holy Spirit cannot stay in a dirty vessel. Those things that you need, you want to get, you want to acquire, you want to achieve, Without God, they are not sustainable. Know God, work with God, partner with God. For those that are already married, you may still have the opportunity of turning things around by making a business out of your marriage. For those of you that are not married, go into marriage as a business. What did I say? Go into marriage as a business. Yeah. When you go into marriage as a business, divorce will be rare. People go into divorce every day, everywhere, because people walk into marriage without being prepared. Set out your criteria. I want to be a businesswoman. So number one criteria should be, the man that I'm going to marry is going to be a man who will like the wife to be a businesswoman. That's number one criteria. If you want to get married because of love and you want to be a businesswoman and the man you are getting married to does not want the wife to be a businesswoman, is that not failure number one? Love will naturally come in. And when it comes, it does not go away. It stays for a long time. Because these are the foundation that will keep you where you are going, that will keep the relationship. And I, I see them as business considerations. Business. It is important that you learn a business that you're interested in, and you must have a minim minimum capital for the business you want to run. Because some people get into business with almost nothing, and they expect miracle. No. Every business has a minimum requirement. You want to run business? You must be good in, in bookkeeping. You cannot sustain a business if you don't keep records. You must be good in bookkeeping. You cannot be a successful business person without keeping records. You must keep records of what you do so that over time you can go back to your records and evaluate your performance. You also must locate your business where it is needed. Some people, they want to run a business and they say, because I'm from Enugu State, that business I have to, I want to establish my shop in Enugu. Is your business needed in Enugu? You have a business that you like, that you can do, that you have the minimum capital to start. Please, take it to where it is needed. It's about business, it's not about you. Don't be a sentimental investor. 